welcome to this Merry Body Yoga inspired class. Quick 10 de stress. I know we all want that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start exactly where we are on our knees with our feet untucked. So the toes are flat. Let's close the eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose and open the mouth. Exhale, let the breath go. <sighs> Letting go of anything that has happened prior to this moment today. Let's inhale, open the eyes, the hands go wide, all the way up to shoulder height. As we exhale, right elbow comes under left. So we find Garuda Asana arms. The palms will press, so we're wrapping the arms like a piece of rope. Maybe the palms will press, maybe they won't, and that's okay. We try and lift the elbows high, feeling that stretch in the back of the body. So here we are in Vajrasana pose also known as thunderbolt pose. Pull the belly in and squeeze the inner thighs together. So often we start like this all the time anyway. Mm. So who knew we were doing Vajrasana? Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out. As we inhale, unravel, the arms go nice and wide. Really feel your heart opening. And as you exhale, left elbow underneath the right. Keep wrapping the forearms around and around until those palms press like a piece of rope and then lift the elbows high. But draw the shoulders down. Can you feel the stretch, Emmy? Mm, How good so is good. this? So delicious. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the nose. Let's inhale, unravel the arms, they go wide, and then exhale, bring them down to your knees. Starting with a seated cat-cow. So as we inhale, we just wanna arch the spine and lift the gaze up. Keep the hands on the knees. As we exhale, we wanna curl the spine and gaze down towards the belly button. Just suck that belly in. Inhale, arch the spine, shine your heart, shoulders down, gaze goes up. Exhale, curl everything under. Let's do one more. Inhale, arch the spine, gaze goes up. Feel your heart shining bright. And then exhale, curl it in and under. Let's inhale, find neutral spine, and then exhale, find a child's pose. So you can simply melt over the thighs. We'll turn to our sides and reach the arms out nice and long. We wanna bring the third eye, the space between the eyebrows down to the mat. And breathe deeply in towards the back of the body. Keep reaching the arms nice and long, but drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And a long breath out through the nose. Let's inhale, walk both hands over to the left. Really focus on reaching that right arm a little bit further than the left. Feel that side stretch down the right side of the body. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the nose. Let's inhale, walk hands back through center, taking them all the way to the other side. This time we're reaching that left hand a little bit longer than the right. Feeling that stretch down the left side of the body. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Let's inhale, walk hands back through center. And then exhale, come all the way up to all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, press yourself back to a downward facing dog. Pedaling out the heels, making sure those hands are shoulder distance apart, the feet are hip distance. We inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. As we inhale, walk the hands all the way back to the feet, finding a forward fold. And so for our first forward fold, we're just grabbing opposite elbow with opposite hand, making a little frame for the face and start to swing from side to side, releasing the back of the body, the back of the legs, and let any unnecessary thoughts just spill out the brain. So during our class today, we will be fo focusing on a lot of forward folds. And in these moments, I just ask you to begin to let go of any of the repetitive thoughts in your mind. Just allow them to melt down in toward the earth and let them go. Take one more deep breath in and a long breath out. As we inhale, release the hands, peace finger grip the big toes, 
the thumbs and the pointer finger connect. You can bend the knees as much as you need to make this grip. Inhale, lift halfway, and then exhale, melt forward. The elbows go wide. And once again, we feel an amazing stretch in the back of the shoulders as well with this grip. So really splay the elbows. Pull yourself in, melting over the thighs. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out. One more deep breath in and a long breath out. We inhale, release the grip, making one big fist behind your booty. Clasp the hands, lengthen the arms, and as you exhale, allow the hands to fall over the head. Really try and reach the palms together. And if you can't do this, release the pointer fingers and the thumbs, finding Kali Mudra. This just allows a little bit more movement, a little bit more space in the wrists and the hands. Keep your focus on your breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let the breath go. One more, inhale and exhale. As we inhale, the hands release. Halfway lift, extend the crown. Exhale, forward fold. We inhale, rise up, roll up. Arms go wide, the palms will press. As we exhale, we're just going to wash it off. Exhale, fall forward through the mouth. Inhale, lift it up, palms press. Exhale, through the mouth, let it go. Two more, inhale, lift, palms press. Exhale, let it go, we don't need it anymore. Inhale, lift, and exhale. Let's inhale, lift all the way up, palms will press. Exhale, seal it at the heart. Let's inhale, step our right foot wide, and then turn all the way in. Pigeon toe those feet, the heels are wide. Inhale, one big fist behind your booty, open your heart. Exhale, forward fold, hands go over the head. Once again, here we are in a delicious forward fold. Really try and lift the sit bones and lengthen the legs. Remembering you can bend the knees as much as you need to make this comfortable for you. Maybe if you're feeling good, you can start to bring some weight into the toes, into the balls of the feet. Just notice the difference. Just have a keen curiosity of how your body feels. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. We inhale, release the grip, hands to earth under the shoulders, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. As we inhale, we roll all the way up. Hands go wide, palms press above the head. Exhale, seal it at the heart. Let's zigzag the feet in so they're now shoulder distance apart, but the toes are still pointing out. Inhale, open your heart, and exhale, sit your booty all the way down, finding Malasana. Elbows press into those inner thighs, and we open the heart, so sit nice and tall. Your option is to come higher. So if your heels are off the earth, Come a little bit higher. Make sure your heels are flat. Keep switching on the booty. Keep opening the heart. Feel the stretch in the inner seam of the legs. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long breath out through the nose. As we inhale, press into the heels. Lift all the way up. Arms go wide, the palms will press. Exhale, seal it at the heart. Zigzag your feet in so the toes touch and the heels are apart. We inhale, lift right knee into the chest. Exhale, cross right thigh over left. Keep wrapping the right foot all the way around. Holy moly, sit low. You thought we were just forward folding. <laughs> Inhale, take the arms wide. Exhale, right elbow under left. Here we are in Garuda Asana, eagle pose. So sit low, lift the elbows high, shoulders down. Find one focus point, your drishti point. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together. This will help you balance. So not only are we letting go of things no longer serving us, we're bringing our focus to what's important. And what's important is the here and the now. Take one more deep breath in 
and a long breath out. Holy moly, let's inhale, unravel. Lift right knee into chest, arms go wide. Exhale, bring it back down. Hands to heart, inhale, lift left knee up. Exhale, cross left thigh over right. Keep wrapping the left foot around the right calf. Sit really low. Inhale, arms go wide. Exhale, left elbow under right. Wrap the forearms, palms connect. Elbows lift, shoulders down, belly in. So everything that has happened before this moment is the past, we cannot change it. And the future, it hasn't happened yet. And when the future comes, well, <laughs> it's the now. So let's focus right here. Deep breath in. Long breath out. We inhale, unravel, hands go wide, lift left knee into chest, exhale, Left foot meets right, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the prayer high. And then exhale, forward fold, shine your heart, grabbing behind the calves now. So we wrap the forearms around the calves and grab opposite elbow if you can. Let the head relax. If this is impossible for you, just grab with your hands behind the calves. Remember, you can bend the knees as much as you need. This is your practice. There's no right or wrong. Make it feel good for you. Lift those sit bones high. Feel the stretch in the back of the shoulders. Keep melting forward. And keep breathing. Allowing those unnecessary thoughts to spill out the brain one by one. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. As we inhale, release the hands, halfway lift. As we exhale, fingertips to the earth, zigzag the feet out so they're shoulder distance apart, toes turn out slightly, and sit the booty down, malasana. Here we are again. Take a deep breath in through the nose, and a long breath out. We inhale, simply drop the booty all the way down to the earth. Knees come together. You can stay where you are, but we're turning to our sides. We inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, roll all the way down. Bone by bone. Knees come into the chest, and then we take both hands, grab hold of the insides of the soles of the feet, finding a happy baby pose. Flexing the feet, the knees fall out to the sides. Keep pressing the sacrum back down to the earth, gently tucking the chin so you can lengthen the back of the neck. Maybe you start to rock the baby from side to side, just pressing one foot down after the other. And so now I really invite you to bring your awareness back to your breath and stay here for as long as you need. But if you feel ready, as you inhale, bend both knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, a little cuddle, so much love. And then exhale, let the legs go long, finding your final rest, Shavasana. The feet fall out, the hands fall out, and the palms face towards the sky. Spending as long as you need here, focusing on your breath, melting in toward the earth, connecting to the earth below you. Otherwise, if you feel ready, bending both knees, soles of the feet find the earth, roll onto your right and just gently press yourself up. And I hope you're feeling de-stressed. Mm. Closing down the eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. And as we inhale, the hands go down, around the body all the way up, the palms will press, and as you exhale, the thumbs pass through the third eye, the lips and landing in the heart space. We gently bow the head forward to the teacher in all things, but especially ourselves. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste. So amazing, Mary Makers. Feel good? So good. I loved that mm, class. Me too. Have the most amazing day. See you soon.